In this movie, I'm going to show you how to build um, the second part of assignment number seven. So I'm going to start off with um, loading in the um, uh, the projects. These are the same same set of directories that I used the last time. So I just wanted to come in and bring them all clean again. So let's fix the desk and pointer fun, and I'm going to. Uh, pull in CPP unit from uh, SVN and copy projects into the workspace. So I also need to go to SVN and check out CPP unit. Do that. Okay, and uh, let's see, CPP unit here, finish. back to the other perspective. Okay, so um, the first thing that I want to do is build CPP in it. And uh, I know that one of the issues that's going to happen here is that if I'm running on Linux, that uh, this DLL main file needs to be deleted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that. If you're running in Windows, you weren't going to have to do this step. All you needed to do was actually build this. So we, we need to start by checking the tool chain for this project. So I've got a build toolchain editor and it's at the min GW which is for Windows. I need to set it to Linux GCC for the system that I'm doing this on. And now I'm going to go ahead and build it. So it goes through the process of actually building all of this. It takes a while. I'm just going to go ahead and run it in the background and wait for it. <clears throat> okay, so when this is done building, um, there should be a, um, an archives directory and there should be a debug directory for this project. So there's archives, there's debug. Uh, within this is a bunch of files, including, uh, there should be somewhere in this, a .a file there. And then within archives, you see there's the .a. Okay, so that's what we needed. Um, the next thing I am going to do is uh, I'm going to check on pointer fun and build this. Uh, let's see, the tool chain editor on this one also has to change, be changed to Linux. So I'm going to modify that. And then I'm going to go ahead and build. Okay, so um, we have uh, that project built, and there's the binaries directory for that. And finally, let's check on fix the test. Now, fix the test is a testing. It's based off the testing template. Um, first, we're going to check check the uh, the tool chain, and then there's a couple of things that we need to check for this project uh, under under the settings need to make sure that the libraries are included, or the library, the CPP in the library. So I'm going to add that here. And then I'm going to map it to CPP unit and debug, because that's where the .a file is. Now, you can also set this so that it has a project reference. I should have done that first. Uh, but it's not. Uh, it's not necessary, um, and as a matter of fact, uh, it isn't actually set as a default here, but I'm actually going to leave it off for now. I think I'm good with it. Okay, so, um, so let's go ahead and build. Okay, so that's built, and now everything should run. Uh, looks like everything is all set. So, I'm going to create a run profile for this. Actually, it already exists. Fix the test. Go ahead and run. We should see OK on this. OK. Cool. We can do this. And then we can also run pointer fun, but it's, uh, we've seen that before. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it. That's uh, it, the process should have been pretty much the same on the, the Windows.
Sun. So anyway, that concludes this movie.